people are gonna be like, your wedding dress looks amazing, Sal, but this is not your this is not your wedding. This is my furisode, which I got when I was 20. Uh, so in Japan, when you're 20, you get to have this long sleeved <laughs> dress. Um, and once you get married, you have to cut the long sleeve in half. So this is my last chance to wear it. Oh, uh, because we're about to cut that sleeve in half. Well, I don't want to. I might not. <laughs> I might keep it like this for our children, maybe. My mother is also wearing a kimono. This is a formal Japanese kimono with family crests on it. So she has five crests. One, two, oh, and one in the back. No. Oh. Five. If you're a missus, this is the top of the line formal kimono. This is the formalist, formalist uh, kimono you can ever wear. Um, it's all black and has designs on the bottom. We have our reception dinner. For who? Uh, for my cousin Yuki. And, Yu Chan. Uh, Yu Chan. Yeah, we grew up together. When she was, we, me and her were best friends growing up when we were little. And, Happy for her. Congratulations. <laughs> we just finished up Sal's cousin's wedding, which was this extravagant ridiculous like mixture of Western and Japanese traditional wedding. Um, Sal's rocking her $4,000 kimono that her auntie bought her or her great auntie bought, bought her. And right here is like bulletproof. You can hear that. I have a bunch of towels inside <laughs> of this. So I'm, like, I feel like a barrel right now. It's not something that I like to show everybody but I'm about to strip my girl down for you guys. We're breaking down. <laughs> A kimono, <laughs> a furisode, uh, which is not your normal kimono. This okay. is, yeah. Alright, cue the um, sexy stripper music. Bow wow. Alright, so how do I do this? Start from the outside. Okay. Here. Should I be, no, should I be doing to... like ghost situation? No, no, no. Uh, uh, good luck, because that's going to be. No, alright. That's hard. Just... Okay, so. There were three girls working on me to put this together. And you only need one of me to, you know, take this shit off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. This Two. Is this is definitely not a quickie, you know what I'm saying? In every culture, guys has it always easier than the girl. Oh, yeah. We lucky, all right? Oh. Oh my gosh, this thing is super warm. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is where all my warm All right, number clothes. five. Number five. How much did I just take off of you? Was that like a thousand dollars right there? Maybe. This is what kept my belly hard. Oh my gosh, this thing is like... It's hard. <laughs> you got like the bullet, you got the Cavalier vest. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> You gotta put sleeves inside a sleeve. All right, well, oh my, and honestly, this is like five pounds right here. This is legit five pounds. You got towels here too? Oh. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, last piece. And the grand finale. Oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Oh. <laughs> oh, my body can breathe now. <laughs> We're here to see the art aquarium. It's part of my um, ongoing uh, project that I'm trying to get the show to America. And um, you know, so far it's uh, it's been a little difficult, but um, I just wanted to show Norville and my dad and my mom um, what I'm trying to bring to America and what I'm working hard for every day. So, you know, it was right next to where our wedding was, so it was perfect.
So we're at the Kumamoto uh, Temple. As you can see, there's a lot of construction going on right now. It's, they're trying to rebuild. Last year, there was a seven plus magnitude earthquake that hit Kumamoto. Uh, these are pretty, a lot of the shrines were cracked. A lot of the ancient uh, walls that were built here centuries ago have been destroyed. And apparently it's gonna take roughly 20 plus years to kind of get everything back to the way it was. Even with uh, modern technology, it's not something that they can easily just do. It's quite a wreckage. Um, I mean, you can kind of still see the debris here. This used to be steps to like an entire castle. And now it's like vanished. There's rubble all over this area. It's pretty sad. Picked up a hitchhiker. Oh my gosh, how did you find that place? In Aso. Aso. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in Tagalog is dog. Oh, <laughs> we made it. We are here in one of the biggest volcano in Japan. It's a little bit cloudy. Unfortunately, this is the closest we're gonna get to the volcano because they're making an announcement today. It's just super active. You can't get closer. The closest that we can get is one kilometer away from it. Unfortunately, I guess I'll take a photo though. That's the peak right there. Right there. <laughs> it's right there, but we can't get to the crater because it's the volcano is PMSing right now. <laughs> I know. We got we got the boys now. We got all the three boys. Hello. Dalton survived Hello. his uh He made it back. He made it back in one from, piece. <laughs> he made it back from Okinawa. Okinawa. Hungry. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking starving. I got All this right. horse butt. Alright, So when I was at the train at Waito Station, I said like, um, hi, um, um, to ASO, please. <laughs> Did oh, they understand? And then, and then they kind of gave me a look. And then they said, Aso. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny.